Alright, this is Thimbleweed Park. I don't really like this game either. Let's see if another playthrough changes my mind. Casual mode or hard mode? Um, let's see, it says if you're new to adventure games or you're looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting and there's so much to do. Free tutorial included. See, I don't need all that. I don't need a tutorial. But then there's this hard mode. If you're an experienced adventure gamer and you want all the puzzles because there's nothing more exciting in life than playing adventure games. Once you choose a mode, you can't change it without starting a new game. You can play in casual mode and then again in hard mode to see additional puzzles. I guess we'll do hard mode. <sighs> Whatever. What is this? I know about all this. I know, I've played Maniac Mansion. I thought I picked the one without the tutorial. Ah, what a goddamn waste of my time. was like 1987. Well, that's just stupid. See, a lot of these jokes fall flat. to turn this music off. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Yeah, yeah. What? How do I get? Oh. There we go. Music volume. Down. Alright. Walk the gate. Open gate. <coughs> that was my first puzzle. That was awesome. Talk to Willie. I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Are you the victim of an inferior American social support system? I have to go. I'm sorry I cannot offer you a drink. I'll do the first one. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you've not seen anyone? Sober up, sir. I have to go. I'm sorry I cannot offer you a drink. I'll do the first one. Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruin my life. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. I have to go sleep well. I have well. to go. Sleep well. Pixel hunt. Uh, look at sign. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park. 1.7 miles. What do I got here? Look at note. Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Check. 
go to the river down by the trestle trail bridge check turn off the light above the trestle trail sign so i know you have arrived meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers make sure you're not followed turn off the light Prototype pillow bear. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Very top secret. Huh. What light? I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Oh, all right. Pick up rock. <coughs> that was helpful. Where's the light? I had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. This light. Is it that light? Alright. Use rock on light. There! I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Oh my god. That's kind of scary. Ah! <coughs> that was terrifying. None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night. Or how much it would change us all. Ooh. It's the same background. I guess no time has passed. Well, someone... So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Badge, notebook, camera. Let's use camera on the corpse. Hmm, there's no film in the camera. Oh. Um. How do I switch to her? Oh, here we go. She's got film. Alright, so give film to Reyes. Thanks. Reyes. Use film in camera. Use camera on corpse. Smile. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. All right, whatever. Wait, what happens if we go over this way? Wait, something odd. Pick up something odd. It's a chainsaw. It's pretty rusty, and totally out of chainsaw gas. Chainsaw gas. Use... 
What the hell? What was that? Violin music coming from the sewer? Use chainsaw on old tree. I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. Chainsaw gas. All right, I'll just check him. I never would have found that. All right, let's go. What's this? Tuna can. I better pick it up. In an adventure game, if you see anything, pick it up. Even if it's garbage. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads. The good parts. Still has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Atari cartridge. Pick it up. It's the E.T. game for the 2600. <laughs> well, I remember this is, uh, this apparently takes place in the 80s. What the hell is this? Circus flyer. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. <laughs> Why brothers if you're sisters? Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. Okay, yeah, it's not annoying. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. <coughs> signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost run over a federal agent. That's a felony. This is really odd. Should I save my game? Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. I'll do the first you one. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Oh my god. Very strong. This, it wasn't funny the first time, and it's not getting any funnier. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. This is what I'm talking about. It's sort of like the fucking Monkey Island games where everybody has to break the fourth wall to talk about the fucking game itself. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Beep. Click, 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 click. Get the hell away from those two assholes. Click, click, click. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Y 
You seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Boop! Plastic rings. Let's pick up more trash. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Cemetery. Should we check out the cemetery? <laughs> Pixel hunt. Nothing going on in this graveyard. What the hell's that noise? That's a big graveyard. Well, I think that's the joke, is how big this graveyard is. absolutely nothing in the graveyard. Nothing to read, nothing to pick up. A tomb. Wait, flowers. Look at flowers. Flowers left over from a funeral. Pick up flowers. Hey! A flower from the cemetery. All right, at least I picked up something. Open tomb door. I don't see a way to open it, but uh -huh. I see a switch inside. Huh. Wonder how I can open that. Probably gonna have to come back to it. Oh God. We gotta go all the way the fuck back. was asinine. I'm gonna give her a flower. Give flower to Ray. Whatever. <laughs> that was funny. More trash. It's an empty soda bottle. Five cent deposit in Massachusetts, Hawaii, California, Arkansas, Idaho, Wisconsin, Nevada. Georgia, Virginia, Connecticut, Vermont, Maryland, Kansas, North Carolina, Texas, Montana, Tennessee, South Dakota, District of Columbia, Florida, South Carolina, Washington. Yeah, it's not funny. I'm glad the cutscene cut that shit out. What the hell did that mean? Wait up, eager beaver. You're the eager beaver. Look at sign. It says Main Street.
I can't open that. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Hint it line. says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hinttron 3000 at 4468. Hmm, I don't get it. Yeah, because it's breaking the fourth wall. 4468, well, let's call it. I don't have a phone, but you know who does? She does. Welcome to the fully automated Hintron 3000 system. We aim to make your experience playing Thimbleweed Park easier. If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. The hints here will change depending on which part you are currently playing. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. You can always just hang up when you're done, my feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you? Uh, I don't really need a hint right now. No hints for me. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, well, that's how they do their hint system. Here we go. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Uh, that's what you are, feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> <coughs> Correct, sir. We are federal agents. How long are you going to let that body rot in the river? I'm Agent Ray. This is my partner, Agent Ray. No, any place that serves good pie. Well, we're just going to lawnmower these options. Correct, sir. We are federal agents. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Yeah, I hope you think the Areno bit is funny, because it just keeps going. Look at City Seal. The inscription says, Pelotronics, the brain of our city. Work. A good place to get a drink. Use it. Ew. Ew. That's gross. Ah. That was stupid. <laughs> oh, that was really stupid. All right, let's go to the corner. Howdy-ho! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future, who? Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. Ooh, I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. 
<laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. <laughs> uh, so happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000, the Fingertron 3000, the Facetron 3000. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Let's do that one. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pisa Who's in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. See how funny that is? Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno. The Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match who Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual, and it will verify a positive match. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? <coughs> well, I did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Hmm. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a Pillow Factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. All right, fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> Uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. In 1987. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. So fucking stupid. I hate this town. <laughs> Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Look at diagram. Chewy caramel center. Ugh. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Sean by Sheriff Crook. Uh, Mort E. Sean, I get it. Look at... This. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The Bloodtron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a report. Fully voice activated. I start heard, reading and start uh, talking. I, I heard the guy tell me all this. Why is this shaking? To-do list. Find the murder weapon. Fingerprint the murder weapon. Get Fingertron report. Find ID for the victim in hotel. Get Facetron report. Take a blood swab from the body. Jesus Christ! Find suspicious item with blood on it. Get Bloodtron report. Put three reports in a restaurant. Oh my God! And this is fun. Look at bookshelf. Lots of medical books there.
Well, I need to get back to solving this case. Open drawer. It's empty. Open this drawer. It's empty. Open this drawer. There's a fingerprint kit here. Oh. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Oh. Well. It's a medical skeleton. Ugh. Smells awful. Go to the sheriff. Open door. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. <coughs> Excuse me. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. You're also the coroner, right? You, I mean the coroner, said something about the Arrestron. What else do you know about the Pillow Factory fire 20 years ago? Well, that's a lawnmower. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Reno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Reno's from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Areno's in a pot Areno. What? Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. Unbelievable. You... I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Huh. Right, Thank you. sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Huh. Chuck, who's this Chuck we keep hearing about? Chuck who? Should we investigate Chuck as a suspect? Let's do this one. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Look at Police Tron. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Look at Wanted Poster. Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Look at Wanted Poster. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Look at Telephone. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. Open desk. The desk has no drawers. Open drawer. Just a bunch of files. Open drawer. There's a fingerprint book here. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Good. Open drawer. Just a bunch of files. It's turned off. Use radio. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. 
ever notice that 60 cycle hum whenever you pick up a phone? It's an alien invasion, I tell you. Aliens are trying to make us stupid. Don't talk on the phone and you won't become an idiot. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Open drawer. Just a bunch of files. Open drawer. Just a bunch of files. Open drawer. Just a bunch of files. Guess I'm heading out. Uh oh. These two assholes again. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? What caused the leak? I'd really like to explore A Street. Gotta go. I've got a murder to solve. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. Pigeons need a WC-67 too. Good for them. I gotta fucking help them. It says, after 34 years of serving the tri thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chalk. Transistors are a dead-end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you. Our loyal customers. Huh. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Stay out of trouble. It says we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely for our savings manager, Mr. El Polo. <coughs> the doors are locked and nobody's inside. Hmm. All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. S and D Diner. Ah, oh, here we go. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent, know anything about the dead body. What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird arena. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. I'm gonna do the last one. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? Uh... I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble. 
Especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Oh my god, here we go. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Oh god, here we go. Ransom the bleeping clowns to bleeping do list. Put on my clown nose, get my bleeping joke book back, get my clown fro looking beeping great, apply my beeping awesome clown makeup, go on stage and insult the beep out of those idiots. P.S. My life is amazing and beep you for being jealous. <sighs> I don't even understand games anymore. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. <laughs> Pull lumpy poster. It came off the wall. <laughs> Open wall safe. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Oh man, I don't know. Okay now. And finally. I don't remember the combination. <laughs> Shit. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Rents in the clown. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan Ransom the f clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. Oh, all right. What the hell is this? The number of letters in the top right word of the big top sign. The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. It's my lawyer's business card. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. But it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Except now, it's missing its nose. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special Ransom Clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Oh, God. Why am I suddenly a clown? I mean, really? Huh. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50. I just want to know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen, and your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. 
Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. F you. <laughs> oh. Where am I going? With the trailer. No, this way. You <laughs> go yourself. It's my phone, duh. It's my ransom the clown swear jar with a hundred and thirty eight bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. Jesus. I don't wear hats. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. Now there's the face I love. There. Got some shit done. That's not gonna f work. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. Oh. All right. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Shoot the bunny. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. It yeah, serves you right for playing the duckies. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. So how's the old ball and chain and kids? Beep you. I'm out of here, you beeper. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the nine kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. How many kids do you say you have? I have nine kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. What is that about? Give me my joke book, face. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. Oh. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that helps. I gotta figure out the combination. You, I'm out of here. I'm 1138, of course.
All right, well, I, got I don't feel like solving a combination right now. Try your skill. So I'm gonna save the game. Just shoot like a man or a little girl. Uh, Alright, so thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time.